So remember when setting dates on discussion topics, you can do that of course through the course content or the submission review area. Also remember that there's two different options in there, locking versus visibility. And you really should review the tutorial on understanding the differences between visibility and locking options before you kind of understand what's going to happen here. Because what happens when you set the dates on the course content area? What gets affected in, in the discussion, in the submission review area for discussion topics? So the answer to this is pretty simple. In the course content area, if you go ahead and set dates, um, and I'll just set an, an end date in the future, and maybe set a start date. When you set those dates, those dates are affecting the visibility. The visibility. So again, what you have to remember is what is visibility? Well, if I go and view this as the student, and I go to course content here, the student will see the discussion but can't get to it because the future start date. They also can't see the instructions. And if they go to submission review and discussions, it's hidden. The visibility, it's hidden. So when you set dates, and again, this is important, when you set dates in the course content area via the course content area on discussion topics, you're setting the visibility. So if I go to submission review and discussions um, and go into the edit topic area here and go down to the bottom, you'll notice that those dates that I set automatically get set here. Now, one other thing is to remember is to not use both availability and locking, one or the other. So here's my best case for you all. Set your dates for discussion topics in the submission review area. And the reason for that is because then you will set the dates that you want. You got to think about the needs for your course. What do you want your students to be able to see or to do? Remember what locking options do versus vis uh, visibility. And again, that will help you to try to not be to confuse your students um, by setting that. So if I have topic is always visible and click save here, and if I go back to the course content area, those dates are now no longer on there. So again, Really important to understand this so that you don't have confusion as to when the students can see their posts, when the students can, can post, when the students can't post, and so on.